Let's talk about perpendicular bisectors of a triangle. Let me write let me write this down. Perpendicular bisectors of a triangle. So what is a perpendicular bisector? This perpendicular means it is 90 degrees with respect to. So this thing is perpendicular because it, it is intersecting at 90 degrees. And bisector means you're dividing into two equal pieces, into two equal pieces. So let's say you're given a segment like this. What is a perpendicular bisector of the segment? Well, the perpendicular bisector has to go through the midpoint to divide it into two, and it has to be perpendicular to the segment. So this is going to be our perpendicular bisector. So let's consider any triangle. Let's draw some random triangle. One, two, three. And let's try to draw out perpendicular bisectors of each side. For this one, it's going to go like this. For this one, it's going to go like this. For this one, it's going to go, it's going to go like this. And it looks like, to some extent, they intersect at one point. It seems like they are concurrent. And concurrent means the, when the lines, when three or more lines intersect at some point. And you may say, uh, do they have to intersect? When, when you have two lines, unless they are parallel, yes, they are going to intersect. But when you have three lines going on, they don't have to intersect at the same one point. So you may say, oh, maybe, maybe this is a random result. Let's try another one. So let's try, let me draw a new triangle that actually looks like a triangle. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. Let's draw perpendicular bisectors. For this one, it's going to go like this. For this one, it's going to go like this. For this one, it's going to go like this. And it looks like this one is intersecting at the same point. But is it really intersecting at the same point? And if it is, is it the case for every single triangle? Is, the, is what we're going to try to prove in this video. So let's begin with, let's begin with a perpendicular bisector. Let's say, let's say you're given a point. Let's say you're given a point and you know this point is on perpendicular bisector of the segment and my question is is this point equidistant is this point equidistant from the end point of the segment what i'm asking is if you draw a triangle is this length let's call this point to be c is ac does ac equal to bc does ac is equal to bc and our assumption our assumption is that C is on the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. So those AC have to equal to BC is what we're trying to figure out. So let's explore this. We know A, let's call this O. We know AO is equal to OB. You know both of these are right angles. So you know angle AOC is equal to angle BOC. And you know OC has to equal to itself. And what do you have? You have SAS congruency. You have SAS congruency. So you have these two triangles that's congruent. Triangle AOC is congruent to triangle BOC. And this thing is telling you AC is equal to BC. So yes, it is. If a point is lying on a perpendicular bisector, AC is going to equal to BC. Or the point is going to be equidistant from the end point of the segment. Now let's consider another case. Let's, or let's say you're given segment AB once again. And let's say you're picking a point. Let's say you're picking a point uh, such that the distance from A is equal to distance from B. So that's our if. And my question is, is C on perpendicular bisector? Is C on perpendicular bisector, let's, let me just write PB, peanut butter, or perpendicular bisector, of, of AB is the question. Now, you may say, okay, if C is on perpendicular bisector, AC is equal to BC, so doesn't the opposite have to be true like right away? Why do we have to prove it both ways? And the reason is, just because C is on perpendicular bisector, yes, yes it, yes, it implies that AC is equal to BC. But there may be some other point, there may be some other point, such that it is not on the perpendicular bisector, and still the distance from A and distance from B is the same. So we have to prove the other case to make sure this is not the case. So let's try to prove the converse of the original statement. So let's, 
let's draw a line down to AB such that it is perpendicular. You, you can, from starting at any point, you can draw it down to segment AB such that the, the drawn line is going to be perpendicular to AB. And what do we want to show? Let's call this point O. We want to show OA is equal to OB. If OA is equal to OB, then you have then you have OC as perpendicular bisector of AB because it is dividing it in half and it is intersecting in a 90 degree angle. So let's try to prove it. You know AC is equal to CB. You know angle AOC is equal to angle BOC, both are 90 degrees. And you know OC is equal to itself. So OC is equal to OC. So we have hypotenuse leg congruence. You have hypotenuse of a right triangle and one leg of the right triangle. And this thing is telling you the triangle AOC is congruent to triangle BOC. And this, that's telling you AO is equal to BO. So yes it is. If AC is equal to AB, C is on the perpendicular bisector of AB. So how, how, why is this useful? Why am I talking about this? Let's find out. Let's say you're given a triangle. Let's say you're given a triangle. Let me draw it out. Ooh, if I can. Let's say once this pen starts to work, let's say you're given a triangle. And you know two of the perpendicular bisectors are going to intersect. So let's draw two of them. One, two. Let me make the triangle not, not a right triangle so it's easier to see. One, two, three. So here's one of them, and here's the other one of them. So they intersect at some point. What we want to show is the perpendicular bisector of this third side also intersect at the same point. So how can we do that? Well, let's begin with this. Since this point is on perpendicular bisector of this side, you know it's going to be equidistant to the end points of the side. So if we draw if we draw a line like this, you know this thing is going to be equal to this thing because this point is lying on this perpendicular bisector. But this point is also lying on this perpendicular bisector, so it has to also be equidistant from this, from this point. So you know this, you know this length and this length has to be the same. So you know all of these lengths has to be the same. Let me recap. You know, since this point is on this perpendicular bisector, you know this and this are the same lengths. And since this point is also on this perpendicular bisector, you know this and this are the same lengths, which tells you all of them are the same lengths. Now let's look at this triangle. Now let's look at, now let's look at this triangle. You know, you know this point. You know this point is equidistant from the end point of the segment. And what's this telling you? We just proved it. It is on the perpendicular bisector of the segment. So if we draw a perpendicular bisector, this point has to be on it. And what have we just proven? The perpendicular bisectors of a triangle are, are concurrent or they meet at the same point.